Hello all. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about an Arch Linux uh, distribution called Manjaro. It's a little easier uh, install process than uh, the basic Arch Linux. And uh, this is uh, running in obviously in a virtual machine. And we're set to boot. So you just, uh, I'll zoom in here so you can see a bit. There's a boot Manjaro Linux. Zoom out. Press enter. And select your language. And they suggest to use the uh, boot with non-free graphic drivers. So we'll do that. And I'll let it do its boot routine. We'll be back in a second. Once it's booted up, um, you'll get a message here about uh, guest editions available. If you're running... Uh, virtual box. Other than that, uh, you get a welcome message and uh, Manjaro, is, its website is manjaro.org. Maybe click that, make sure your internet's working, which it is, and there's their site. And it's actually blog.manjaro.org and you can get the latest version, 64-bit, 1.3 gigabytes, so you would have to use a DVD to install this on your system or a USB drive and they give you an installation guide installation for beginners uh, Manjaro 0.8.2 and we'll scroll down until we get to installation they suggest your keyboard layout uh, I think the default is US and uh, when you start the installer it comes with a menu driven kind of a command line installer and you select stable and just be sure to follow the steps in order you set your date time and your location your time zone the time itself the hard drive and so on double click this the installer there it goes welcome to the installer and just press ok use stable as they said and please follow steps in order, set date and time. Use your arrow key if you want local time or UTC. They, they suggest the universal time format. So, okay. Select your uh, region and a city that's close to you, whatever. And verify the date and the time. And keep pressing OK. Next is prepare the hard drives. Since it's virtual box, we'll just do the assisted preparation, which is erases the whole disk. Okay, um, for the boot partition, uh, it's recommending 100. I'll just leave that as it is. And uh, for the swap, I'm going to make this a larger. I'm going to give it 2000, which would be 2 gigs. And the root partition... Um, if you have much more space, it'll probably suggest something more like 15 gigs instead of 5 gigs. But in this case, 5.5 is fine. And you want to make your um, home partition 23 gigs. Yes. Select your extension. Journalizing extension 4 is uh, the most common. Extension 4 be used for the root and home. Is that okay? Yes. And proceed. And we'll partition the only drive that's on here, obviously. So that's it. You press OK. And back to the main menu. Install the system. And it says, please be patient. So I'll pause this while it's in uh, doing this install. Once it's finished installing, it should say succeeded, and you press uh, enter to continue. Configuration, so this is the uh, sound, and you see the little sound uh, bubble pop up here. Installing your video drive, so I guess either the open source or the ones from uh, VirtualBox. Okay, next, uh, configure the system. Uh, root password change it definitely to something else and set up a user account 
Um, call it anything you want. And do you want to be part of the sudo? Yes. Which is the super user. So yes. And you give that a password. Press OK. That's done. If you're in the US, all this stuff will be fine. If you're not, you're going to have to go in and set up the locale and your key map. Um, configure the system. You can look over this. But uh, most of it should be fine. Maybe the mirror list, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. This should generate the locales for the system. Synchronizing Pac Man. Which is part of uh, Arch Linux. If you use, if you used Arch Linux before, you know that. Backman. Step five: install Bootloader, which is Grub. Um, I'd recommend that. It's Grub two. And you just answer yes if that's where you want that. Which in my case, yes. And Grub installed, and then quit. And it says installation finished, and that closes. So next up is uh, just go down to the bottom right, hit log out, and then uh, do a restart. And it'll ask you to remove if a CD if it's in the tray. In this case, VirtualBox just uncheck that. Uh, I had this problem for uh, force unmount, and it's going to give me some I/O errors. Yeah. Okay, so all you do is just uh, machine, reset, answer yes. And it should be booting up into, there we go. So right now we have uh, Angero Linux and uh, fallback mode in case you need it and a mem test. So choose the first option and enter. I'll just give this a little bit of time to boot up. Okay, there we go. Um, we have... Uh, an Arch Linux based system installed, ready to go. Actually, fairly fast install, really. Okay, so uh, I hope you found this useful. Any questions, comments, just go ahead and add them. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.